Well, how's it going, Highway Kids? Welcome back to another Sunday service. This is a little different, though. Mm, uh, yeah. This one's a little different. I'm joined by Brendan here. Um, and some nuggets and fell nuggets over. <laughs> that's over. And as you can tell, we're, we're doing something different this Sunday. It's going to be something a, bit a little bit different. Um, we, as you can see, we've got some food from some fast food restaurants. We're going to mm. be trying out, seeing which is probably better. Which one's going to sponsor us? <laughs> <laughs> that will never happen. <laughs> nah, I mean, nah, you ne never say okay. never. Yeah, never sure. say never. Um, but we're going to we're going to eat some food, mm -hmm. uh, and we also also we got some questions here mm. that you guys sent in um, yeah. for us to try and answer. Um, mm. There's some big questions there. Mm. Uh, we've got a few questions. We're going to try it. Try to answer them at least, mm. anyway, Brendan, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to do our absolute best. Yeah, our absolute best. Mm. Um, but you know what's coming up in a couple of weeks' time before we start everything? What? Something that's really cool. If you are here on the Gold Coast and you're watching this live, in a few yeah. weeks' time, we have Super Soaker yeah. Sunday, which is going to be so cool. Let's go. Really awesome. Let's just watch the promo right now just right. because we can. Yeah. All right, let's watch it. Well, how cool was that promo? I'm actually super excited for Super Soaker Sunday. Super excited? I'm super excited. That was a lot of alliteration there. Yeah, that's a good try. All right, All right. so right. we've got, how do we want to do this? We've got six questions. Yes. But we, we also have five different fast food places. Oh, we do. Um, should we tell them what, what food we have for okay. them first? What I did is I just spent an hour driving to all the different fast <laughs> food places around us and I ordered six nuggets yep. and, a hand, and a cheeseburger. Sorry. Cheeseburger. Okay. Six nuggets and a cheeseburger from everywhere. Yep. And we're going to decide is what's the best. Yep. I don't know. We can just decide. Oh, I reckon we can figure it out. Like Also, a really quick game right now to mm. start it off. Okay. Um... Which one of these, I want you to rank them in order of how expensive you think each one was. Also, I want you to do this okay. at home. All right, so we've got Hungry Jack's, KFC. It's annoying me that the KFC one isn't in a proper bag. And obviously, I'm guessing there's no cheeseburger from KFC. There's no cheeseburger. You can't, there's no cheeseburger you on the menu. Can't. Everywhere else has a cheeseburger yeah, on the menu. You know um, so Hungry yeah. Jack's, KFC, Red Rooster, Carl's Jr. and McDonald's or okay. Macca's. So we got what, we're going to go expensive to cheap? Yeah, I reckon put them in the order you think of how Okay, because like, you went and bought them. I went, went and bought them. So you have a rough idea. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to say this is the cheap side, that's the expensive side. So I'm actually Now gonna... also, really quickly, Yeah. imagine that this had a cheeseburger with it. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Because obviously okay. this is the cheapest one because yeah, it didn't have a cheeseburger, have a cheeseburger yeah. with it. Yep. Yeah. But imagine quantum. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Well, uh, I'm going to say Macca's as the cheapest. Um, yeah. Then I'm going to say Hungry Jacks. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I want to go. Okay, so this is cheapest. Cheapest to expensive. So most expensive. I genuinely think Red Rooster is a little bit more expensive than everything else. Red Rooster is a little bit more expensive than everything else. And then you have the second most expensive is Carl. Carl's Jr. I think so, just because Carl's Jr. is... They, they, you know, they, they like, they put extra into their stuff. Yeah, you know? I get what you're saying. I get you know? what you're saying. It's extra. When Mac is, it's cheapest. You know, it's quick, really quick. It's cheap. Mm. If you, you just need to have a cheeseburger, it's quick and easy. Mm -hmm. Mac is cheapest. And then I put KFC in the middle because I thought it's hard to gauge. It's hard to gauge because right? it doesn't have a cheeseburger. It, yeah. Either. But I do think it's probably, if it did have a cheeseburger, it's going to be more expensive than HS. Um, the only t the only swaps I could do is the Hungry Jacks and Maccas around and probably mm. Carl's and Red Rooster around. Mm. But, but that seems gonna, pretty safe. I think that's a safe bet like that. All right. How do you guys think he's going? Do you reckon this is pretty accurate? All right. Are you ready for me to put it in the order that it actually was in? Okay, go for it. Most expensive, or cheapest to most expensive. Okay. All right. So. Cheapest on this side. Hungry Jacks is the cheapest. Okay. 
Carl's Jr. Really? The second cheapest. Okay, I got KFC right. KFC okay. stays KFC. there. No way. Yeah. So I had this order right. I just, yeah, as in yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You had the order right, I guess, except for Mac is... Mac is the, the expen more expensive. Now, the only thing that's tripping me up is this one thing. But, okay. What do we mean? So this is $8.40. Hungry Jacks. Yes. $8.40. $8.80. $8.80. This was $7 just for the nuggets. Oh, okay. So imagine if it was like a $2 uh, cheeseburger. Yeah, $2 right dollar cheeseburger. Yeah, roughly yeah. nine. This was about $9. Wow. So they're about the same, right? This was $12.50. Twelve fifty for just six nuggets and a cheeseburger. Now, but what I did as well, I also donated to charity when I did this. Okay. They asked me if I want to add two dollars to their like the helping hand, hand, like Ronald McDonald yep. house. So it, it's probably more like ten. But that still still more comes expensive. out more expensive as the rest. Ten dollars from Macca's. I know it really surprised me, especially since I wow. went there first and I got really worried because I was like. <laughs> This is usually the cheapest. <laughs> like Max is always wow. Okay, so Hungry yeah. Jacks is the cheapest. Hungry Jacks is the cheapest. Six nuggets and a cheeseburger. Yeah. So, wow. kids, when your parents treat you, and this is not food that you have all the time, no. but when your parents treat you, this is sort of an ad sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like if only we were sponsored, we'd tell you to go to one of these. One ones. of these, but we can't unfortunately tell you to go anywhere. You can. So if so. you if if you were to be treated to some nuggets and to a cheeseburger. Mm. But yeah, awesome. Okay. Let's so, see if this actually tastes in that line. What what, what should we try first? Um, okay, this, do we go expensive first? Let's go expensive. Um, should we try yeah. a nugget? Yep, let's go with the nuggets first. All right, but cool. we'll test here. this out. Oh. It's a chicken nugget. Yeah. I feel bad for this too because this is a very bad Macca's nugget. It is. Uh, like it's cold. It's very cold. But it was the first place you visited. Yep. But even then, I feel like we got them cold. Do you get them kind of say though? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, you know what though? It's not dry. It's not dry chicken. Yes, that is the a chicken's good point. Chicken's not dry. Um, I, I hate when you get dry chicken nuggets. Mm, yeah. So, okay. Should we split this? Yep. Cheese we're going to I'm going to grab another one. As I'm splitting this, do you want to read out the first question we've got for today? Sure, Cam. Now, I, you guys are awesome. You guys sent in a lot oh, of questions. So many awesome. So many awesome questions. We, we've picked six here today um, to go through. But who knows? If you like this and you want to send more questions and find out what we think about some things, mm. go ahead, send more and let us know in the comments mm. if you want to see another one of this. But the first question, we're actually going to get a little deep tonight. Mm. Or, or this morning, sort of say. Um, whenever you're watching this. Whenever you're watching. This morning, tonight, midday. Mm. I couldn't think of another time. 7 o'clock. 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Just woke up. Um, no, I didn't. <laughs> Unless I'm having a nap um, Sunday afternoon. Mm, Sunday Four afternoon nap. Anyway, first question. How does God know how I'm feeling? How does God know how I'm feeling? Mm. I love this question. Um, this is a good question. Mm. Um, this one's by Safira. Thank you, Safira. Oh, awesome. Yeah. That's a really great question. I love that from Safira. That's really yeah, cool. Very good. Now, I'm going to teach you guys a few words throughout this video. Yeah. Right. That yeah. are really going to help us. And I know they sound like really big words, but yeah. when we break it down, it's going to be super easy. Show me Safira. All right. Now, All right, there's this word about God that God is omnipresent. 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 Okay. Right? What does that mean? Now, omni, the word omni, which sounds weird, sounds weird. It sounds like something from Ben 10. Can we be honest? Omni, there's a. I'm gonna get a little nerdy now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Oh, but um, I like Digimon, all right? Was, you know, <laughs> as if you know me, I like Pokemon and Digimon. And there's this, and there's this Digimon called Omnimon. Yeah, and, yeah. And pretty much, and I think I, I now I'm saying it out loud. Mm. It makes sense. But Omnimon is this, is this, is this Digimon, digital mm. monster that is a combination of like different monsters, mm. and he's like the big guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's really cool. He's so everywhere. the word Omni yeah. means all. So essentially, that's the monster all, that has all, all you know, together. all of it. Yeah, so, okay. so omni means all. So you can remember that. So every time you say the word anything that starts the word omni, omni you're going to know the first all. part means all. Mm. And then the last part of that word is present. Present. Omni, present. So that means that God is everywhere all the time. Okay. He's in this room with us right now. He's yep. with you right now. He's just everywhere. He's everywhere yep. in the world. He's everywhere in time and space. It's really awesome. Mm. So when the question is, how do we know what God, like how do we know 
how does God know what, what we're, we're feeling? feeling? Yeah. Well, God's always there. Yeah. He's always there for us. Yeah. And he also, another thing, he also knows you better than anyone in the world. That's, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, 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 yeah, yeah. You, like you, you, you may have heard people say, like, God knows every hair on your head. Mm. He knows, you know, your unique fingerprint. He knows every detail about you, you know. Mm. Um, he just knows you because mm. he formed you in your mother's womb, it says in the Bible. Mm. Um, so how does God know? Because he knows you the best. Mm. Like Brennan just said, he knows mm. you the best. And I think, yeah, like you said, he's omnipresent. He's mm. everywhere all the time. And, mm. you know, he knows how you're feeling because he's there. He's, yeah. he's here with you. Yeah, and, cool. You know, and Holy Spirit came down. Mm. Um, and, you know, Holy Spirit came down and Holy Spirit lives in us. Mm. So God um, is three. God the Father, mm. uh, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Mm. The Holy Spirit is in us. Um, mm. I think, yeah, I think that's how that's how God knows, is mm. that he's everywhere. He knows you. And he, mm. he knows what you're going through. He knows what you're feeling. Because um, mm. he's there. He's right there all the time. Mm. I like that. Great. Awesome. That's such a good question. Good it job, Safira. I love that question. That's a great um, question. That's a great question. Now, we'll talk about how yeah. I'm feeling. Yeah. I think we should figure out how this cheeseburger is. Okay? I want to know what God's favorite cheeseburger is. It's probably not a Macca's cheeseburger. Probably not a Macca's cheeseburger. Um, God's got class. Yeah. <laughs> God's got class. Yeah. But, okay, uh, here we okay. go. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Once again, that? it was the first place I went to. Mm. But um, it's looking all right. All right, cheers. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, the bun to meat ratio is a bit off. Too much bun to meat. Mm. Mm. I think. However, I do like the sauce ratio. Mm. Not too saucy. Mm. Um, there's not, there's like just enough sauce, I think. Mm. You know, sauce to cheese to meat is good, but I think there's just a bit too much bun here for me. Um, the problem is, bad. unpopular opinion, mm. maybe. I really like the bun on this. Really? I like what time. I mean, the bun's good. I like the bun. I understand what you're saying. I really agree with what you're saying about sauce. I hate burgers that have too much sauce. It ruins the burger. Yeah. And the meat patty is just pretty. It's just a standard cheeseburger patty, realistically. Um, it's good. Mm. Um, if I was to give it a rating, one to ten. I am. Let's give it a rating. You know what does it for me? What? I was going to give it a six. Yeah. But the pickle is amazing. I okay. think the Mac is the pickle. I'm not sure if you got the pickle. I didn't get any pickles. I only I got the pickle then. <laughs> That's right. I think the pick, Mac's pickles are amazing. Okay. And I could literally just eat a jar of Mac's pickles. Really? Yep. Odd. Who wants to see that? If you wanna if you wanna see a video, that's just weird. I wanna do it. And they'd be yeah. like, oh, no one wants to see that. No one wants to watch that. <laughs> just go home and just eat a jar of pickles anyway. <laughs> I, just want to eat a pickle. <laughs> I gotta get I mean look. It's all right. I think for me, too much bun to me. Mm. I'm probably going to give it a solid five. Okay. Solid five. So I'll give it a six and a half. Mm. Um, the half is for the pickle. Yep. And, uh, <laughs> Just the, the half is for the pickle. Half is for the pickle, but six. Um, all right. I'm gonna... What about Mac's Nuggets? Oh, yeah. Let's rate that. Um, I'm going to give it genuinely, especially this one I just ate then, four. I was going to say the same thing. Four. The only reason it's a four is because it wasn't dry. The only reason no, it's a four is because I, kn- like, I was going to give it a two. Yeah. But I was boosted up because I know it's been waiting for a while. Yeah, okay, fair. So it's not like what they gave us in the packet. Mm. It has been a while since I've... I think if it was to be a one, it had to be frozen still. You know? <laughs> like, like, I can't do like a one or two. Like, it's got to yeah. be frozen or like uncooked. Red Rooster. Nice Nuggets first. Now, Ooh. these look um, quite interesting, actually. I'll put Ooh. them up. Oh, they actually... No. I thought they were warmer, but like... They're right. You know, they're crunchy outside. I can feel mm. it. The crunchy outside. Mm. This is a very different style of nugget. Yeah. To a um, Mac's. To a Mac's one? All right. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. You know what this is? <laughs> we talk about it a lot. But you know when you go to a sporting event? These are the nuggets you get at a sporting event. You know? Mm. Oh, see, that, that, that? I'm now conflicted. I'm now very conflicted. Because I'm eating this. And all the memories of all these sporting events. When we go to the mm. cricket, at the Gabba, mm. you know? Oh, mm. or the Metricon. It's all right, Nugget. Mm. It's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. Mm. I definitely prefer these over Maccas. Oh, definitely better than Maccas Nuggets. The, the, um, the outside of the Nuggets are a lot better. Mm. It's like, and they've, they've been kept warmer. Even though I bought these pretty much straight after 
bought these straight after the Maccas ones. So mm. they're just about as old as each other, mm. but these have held their warmth better because of their outside coating. Yeah. It's got a nice crunch to it. It does have a nice crunch to it. It's not mm. too bad. It's. I definitely prefer these over Maccas. Mm. I'm not going to sure. lie to you. But let's move on to that next question. Mm. Okay. Absolutely. I'll get the. Does God have a beginning? God have a beginning. Does God have a beginning? Um, our human minds and the way we've been brought up mm. and the way we've been taught is there is a beginning and an end. Mm. There is time. We have time where um, I believe God is outside of time. God mm. doesn't have a beginning or an end. Um, you know, it even says in the Bible that God is the beginning and God is the end, mm. you know. Um, again, but well, that's, I think, our human mind's trying to put God into a box. I think we mm. sometimes think of God in a box. So God's in time. God's mm. all, God's with us right now. He is right with, with us right now. And he is, you know, with us in this moment. But I think God's outside of time. We try and put God in a box sometimes. And go, hey, God's this. God's here. God's mm. right here. But I think God's outside of the box and holding almost the box. Mm. And you know what? It, it's that's not a really scary thing. That's a comforting thing that yeah. God's just so massive and so incredible yeah. that we can't even like picture a lot of this stuff. So, yeah. but yeah, really good question. Really like very it. good question. Um, good stuff. Yeah, but it's one of those questions. I think I can't wait to yeah. go ask him. Yeah, yeah, ask him like, hey, yeah, for before sure. you created Earth and before you created us, hey, hey, God, what, what were you doing before? What were you doing? Like, what, what were you doing beforehand? What sort of adventures was God yeah. on before? You know, like I think that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah, but, great. great question there. Great, um, really, great really question. good. This um, is good. It's good. Split the, you've split the um, cheeseburger. Now, this is a cheeseburger from Red Rooster. Now, Red Rooster is a chicken store. Mm -hmm. So, it's a chicken cheeseburger. Okay. Um, but it still has tomato sauce and cheese. Cheese and, you know, your typical cheeseburger things. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Mmm. Hmm, um, interesting. I I do like a sesame seed bun. I will say that. <laughs> Just trying to get some moisture into it. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is a bit dry. It's so dry. It is very dry. It's drier than a Sahara desert in there. <laughs> um, the sauce to meat ratio on this one is a little off. No existence. <laughs> it's a little, I've got a little bit more sauce I can tell. From your half but I need some water. <laughs> it's very dry. Um, that is, I'm so sorry. That is terrible. <laughs> that is not good. Hmm. Yeah, I think, like you said though, Red Rooster is a um, yeah, it's not, a chicken place. Not a. Once again, nuggets are good. Mm. But yeah, okay, let's rate the nuggets. I think nuggets are solid six. Yeah, solid six for me solid as well. Um, what did I give the cat? Not the cat. Uh, what did I give the Macca's burger? Six and a half. This is a, this is a one for me. Really? I'd go about yeah. It's it's pretty dry. Um, yeah, it just it just it took me by surprise. Mm. I That's, love my chicken. Don't get me wrong. Mm. But that <laughs> that is that was hard. That was yeah. Um, I'm gonna yeah. Yourself. I'd probably say a three. Three for that burger. All right. Um, that cheeseburger. While yeah. I get the next one ready, you want to shoot me the next question? Shoot you the next question. Sure, Cam. How is God everywhere? This is like what we talked about before. We could actually probably smash yeah. this out in a couple of seconds. Remember the word we learned before, omnipresent? Yep. Well, that means, like we said before, God is everywhere all the time. And like yep. we've been talking about with, like, God is, like, just everywhere. Like, and I think that's just, like, yeah, he's just, he's with us all the time. And I think... Like like what you're saying before, I think it was really good. We just don't, we don't want to put God in a box. No, yeah. Like God isn't like us. Yeah, you know no, what I mean. Yeah. Like God is just so massive, incredible, and it's such a amazing being that we we don't even un, like fully understand. No, like, no. Like a, a one percent of who yeah. God is, and, oh. but like but what we do know is that He's loving, He's kind, yeah. and He's always there for us. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But yeah, I, I think yeah, I think you're right. God, God is everywhere. Like mm. we we just can't put him in a box, mm. you know, like we we're talking about with omnipresent. You know, mm. we can't be everywhere all the time. Mm. 
like your parents probably say that to you. I can't be everywhere in, mm. in all the yeah, time. Like yeah, I remember yeah. my mum used to say yeah. like I want to like I, I don't I have eyes in the back of my head. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> or like I'll be like oh mum, but I want to go like my friend's house, but at the same like I also I got a footy game and like all this. Mm. And mum's like well I can't be everywhere at the once. You know you can't be at the, and God's not like us. Like you mm. said, you know God is like us, and we can't put him in our box. Mm. You know. Um, God is everywhere. God is is uncomprehendable. Unco- uncomprehendable? Mm. Is that a word? That's making this word. Yeah, we'll I'll make it a word. Yeah. Uncomprehendable. Yeah. 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 God is everywhere. All right. All right. All right. Mid-range. Mid-range. Now, this should be... I think these are probably going to be the best nuggets we'll have tonight. Now, they're also the last nuggets I've got. I want to put those into perspective. Okay, so they're probably a little bit warmer than the rest. They should be. They should be. Okay. Let's have a look. Um... Have we go. Not the crispiness like the red rooster they've ones. Not, they've not. They're very different. They're very different. They're very different. That's a red rooster. But that's okay. I think that's what makes them so good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. You know what? These are good because they're juicy. They're very. The chicken. Mm. Is juicy chicken. Do you know also? I would agree. All the other ones we've tried so far mm. is trying to just like it's just chicken in a nugget, right? Yeah. This has flavoring. Like these are so unique in yeah. their taste. Like mm. they've got the secret spices and stuff on this too. Yeah. Like it just got that KFC battering. It's like so unique. And we've already eaten two. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, like I, I had an idea what, where these was these would come tonight. Oh, that one is so what juicy. Oh. It's very juicy. Um, I'm just gonna rate it already. <sighs> Give me an eight. Mm-hmm. Not a nine not, or a ten. These are not perfect. They're, they're not perfect, mm-hmm. but they're very solid. Mm-hmm. A solid eight. Eight oh, out of eight. Absolutely. Well, yeah. eight out of ten. Well, eight eight out, out of ten. Eight yeah. out of ten. Very solid. Would we'll definitely. Have the last one. Yeah, I'm gonna go for another one. That's that's yeah. Next question. Next question, and then you can get the Carl's Jr. ones ready. All right. Okay. Next question. Um, how did God create everything by speaking? Mm. Okay, so I, we, I touched on it before. You know, Genesis mm. and God spoke mm. everything into existence. How did God do that? How did God speak the world into existence? The universe, mm. the heavens, you know, the land, the sea, the animals, everything. How did He do that? Mm. Well, I'm going to teach us another word. You ready? Brendan's word time. Oh, <laughs> another word. I like it. Um, so this word is remember our word from before, omni. Omni. Starts with omni again, okay. and it's omnipotent, omnipotent, um, on, omnipotent. On, I, I'm not very good at. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> omnipotent, omnipotent, which means omni means all, like we talked about before, mm-hmm. and potent means powerful, essentially. So powerful. omnipotent. Okay. So saying that God is all powerful. Okay. So, like, like we sort of talking about before, how God is everywhere. God is also all powerful. Everything okay. has come from Him. Everything mm. we see in the universe. Sorry, it's all right. Everything, <laughs> yeah. everything we see in the universe has come from Him. Mm. And he's just all powerful, which is amazing, right? There's so yeah. many beautiful things. I think one thing I um, really love about God is that God is an incredible artist. Yeah. He's an incredible scientist. He's an yeah. incredible crafter. Like what he's created yeah. is just so amazing. Like yeah. we were talking about this the other day, but just going outside and just seeing everything that God's made yeah. is just so good. Yeah. So there's so many amazing things oh. about God's creation. So yeah. I think seeing God's creation is just leads us back to, well, someone had to design this. Yeah. Someone had to speak it out. Someone had to, yeah. Yeah. I think that's good. Yeah, no, I agree. And I think I'm probably sound like a broken record, mm. but <laughs> God is so much bigger God than is, we yeah. know. God, but God is. God is so much bigger than uh, what we think. Mm. Um, and like you said, He's omnipotent. Mm. I said it. Omnipotent. Well done. Thank you. All powerful. You know, mm. He's all powerful. So, yeah, he, he did speak the things. That, and if you, like you said, just look around. Mm. Like someone had to create it. And you know, how did God create it? Oh, by just speaking. Mm. He is, he's just powerful, he can mm. do it. I, I, he's all I, powerful. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know the exact answer, like, oh yeah, God has this, you know, word power. Everything he <laughs> says, you know. I mean, he does, like, everything he says comes to, comes mm. to the yeah. tr- truth. But, you know, yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's incredible. Mm. So that, good. Yeah, I don't say awesome as lightly either. 
know? Yeah. Like, you know, nowadays people are like, yeah, that's awesome, bro. You know, awesome, you know. We say it all the time. We say it all the I time. I think it's my filler word. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, awesome, bro. Awesome, awesome, yeah, awesome, awesome. Like, yeah. But I say it as in like, I'm in awe. Man, that's mm. so awesome. Like, I'm mm. awestruck right now looking around at this beauty. Like when you walk into like, it's like amazing. You just go, wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. Poor. It is You know what's also really well designed? What? These star nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Someone had to do them. And you know what? Tell you that what? person may have had a touch from God. Touch from God. All the stars in the sky. Now, Carl's Jr. have gone for a very different yeah. vibe with these nuggets. Um, once well, again, very crispy on the outside. Very crispy, like the Red Rooster one. Um, now, Carl's Jr., I wouldn't say they're, um, they're known for their chicken. No. This is the opposite spectrum. Mm -hmm. Like Red Rooster, KFC, chicken shops, Carl's Jr. More of a beef shop. More of a beef shop. Mm. Um, All right. Star Nuggets, I guess we'll have a look. My, my star's not. Okay. All right, here we go. Cheers. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be honest. Could be just this nugget. That's the worst nugget out of all of tonight. The bread to chicken ratio. I'm not sure if you can see that. There's a lot of crumb. There's a lot of crumb. A lot of bread and like... It's not dry, but what no. it is... It's almost just wet and watery. Yeah. It's actually... Off pulling a bit, eh? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's not nice. I know... I know. No, that they, yeah, they're definitely. Yeah. Um, I don't think we need to say any more about that. Yeah, it's yeah. Just dry. Um, too much two. crumb. I'm gonna give it a two. Sorry. Give it Sorry, a three because it's not. Oh. Um, now this is more their wheelhouse. Mm, a cheeseburger. A cheeseburger. Hopefully, this redeems them a bit. Um, I think out of the out of the two we've had, this sh this should be the best one. I mean, the Red Rooster chicken che chicken cheeseburger. Yeah, well, anything can beat that. I mean, I mean, probably say, not those nuggets though. I do enjoy these cheeseburgers. Yeah, in general. Can okay. I be honest? I've never had a Carl's Jr. cheeseburger. Here we go. All right, there you go. Again, I do love a sesame seed bun. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now this meat to bun ratio is much better than Macca's. Mm. More meaty. I really like the sauce ratio. I'm not sure if I got all the sauce. You know what? I'd agree with that. It's not too saucy. It's not light on the sauce. Just right. My only issue. As much as I said, I do love a sesame seed bun. I think the bun is a bit off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bun. Well, it could be the cheese actually. It could be the cheese. I don't oh. think the cheese is strong on this. No, it's a weak cheese, but. It's not bad. Probably the best cheeseburger we've had so far out of Mackey's and Red Rooster. Oh, um, absolutely. Um, I'd probably, though, give it probably a... Then again, I'm not going to give it a seven. No, I'm not giving it a seven. I'd probably give it a six. If I'm going to be clear honest. I'm going to have to give it a six. And Actually, I like the Mackey's cheeseburger more than that. Give okay. it a six. It's a flat six. Okay, flat six. I'm going to give it a six as well. All right. Not too bad. All right, how many questions do we have left? We've got two more. Okay, cool. And we've got Hungry Jacks to go. Great. So I'll, I'll hand this to you. And then this with our next question. Mm -hmm. Why is there bad in the world? Why is there bad mm. in the world? So why do bad things happen? Why? Mm. Yeah, why, why do bad things happen? Yeah. Yeah, I love this question so much because yeah. it's a really big question and a really important question. Why Very good question. do bad things happen in the world? Yeah. And I think it comes back to all the way at the start, God created us. And he wanted to have relationship with us. Yeah. And then it went a bit wrong. We got out of an Eve. Yep. But then God's intention never changed. No. God was always about us having relationship yeah. with him. Yeah. And like really encourage, I really just want to quickly encourage you before I move any further. God knows that bad things happen. Yeah. Right. It's not yeah. like he's like falls asleep yeah. at night and it's like, Oh no, what's happened? It's happened every night. Oh, I've got to do some cleaning. <laughs> like, you know, like, it's not like every day is like, like, oh my goodness, what have you done today? going to clean up mess again. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Like, but, like, but no, like God knows what's happening, but what he's given us is this thing called free will. Mm, right? yeah. 
And that's where it comes down to of like people make their own choices. Yeah. Humans, we all do human things, yeah. right? But I think it comes back to why God just loves us so much. Yeah. Because he wants our love for him to be so authentic. Yeah. So he's yeah. willing for us to go off the rails a bit, yeah. make mistakes. Yeah. Because he wants to draw us back to yeah. him. Yeah. And I think that's why bad things do happen genuinely in the world. Yeah. And a lot of the time, most of the time, it's just human's fault yeah. when those bad yeah. things happen. Yeah. And that's really sad. Yeah. Um, but it's it's our job as the church actually yeah. to keep reaching people, yeah. Yeah, to keep no spreading the love of Jesus. Yeah. Um, because yeah, I think God loves people just so much. Yeah, yeah. That he's willing to let all of us make mistakes because he can forgive yeah. all of us, he can redeem all of us. Yeah, and I think it's 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 he wants us to also because he loves us so much. Mm. But I think he also wants us to genuinely love him that much yeah. too. Yeah. So where you know, like you're saying, mm. like he 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 lets us, or not that he like he lets us, but mm. he allows us to make mistakes and come back to him. Mm. When we do make mistakes and we sometimes do mess up and make bad decisions or bad bad things happen to us, um, I think in those moments, for me personally, from my like experience in my life, that's where mm. the moments where I go, oh man. I, I've stuffed up, like I've messed mm. up. But then I know that, you know what? No, God loves me still. And I turn back and I I, I, I fall more in love with God because I know mm. that no matter what I do and no matter you know what I've done, that mm. he still loves me no matter what. Mm. And uh, yeah, for like personally in my life, like when I do, when I make mistakes, when I mess up, when I do, mm. when I do something bad, it's like, oh, you know, dang. Oh, you know what though? God still loves me and he forgives me. Mm. And then I genuinely fall more in love. Oh, sorry, more. I genuinely fall more in love with God. Mm. And I think that's what He just He wants for us. He wants mm. us to genuinely fall in love with Him. Mm. Um, that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Before our last question. Yes. Wait. It's here. in front of you. I've got. I've got them here. All right. Let's start with nuggets first. Then the last question, and then the final cheeseburger to finish off. Yeah. Okay. So, hungry Jack's nuggets. Hungry Jack's Nugget. All right, here um, we go. This chicken nugget. nugget. This from is more crunchy, but I feel like it's a mix. Yeah. It's a mix between like a, a KFC and a Macca's, I feel. We'll find out. Again, here we go. They're not known for their chicken. They're known for their beef. Mm. They're known for the burgers. They're known for the burgers. Mmm. Like. The first thing I noticed, obviously, because we had Carl's Nuggets. The the chicken to it's so much more crumb, chicken. There's so much more chicken than crumb. These are good, I'm not gonna lie. Genuinely, this sound weird. They're close to my favorite of the night. Well, I said this at the very start. I prefer these nuggets over Macca's nuggets. Mm. Are they the fav my favorite nuggets overnight? It's the KFC's it's eight. Ju it's juicy, it's crunchy, good chicken. Mm. Good, like I said about the KFC ones, put a really good seasoning around it. Mm -hmm. This is tough, I am going for <laughs> my last one. That's how, that's how you know it, it, it indicates it's a it's a high number. You finish it off quite quick. This is an 8.5 for me. Really? Simply because it's the cheapest. Oh, because it's the cheapest. Because they were so much cheaper mm. and they're still on the same level as... I reckon this is on the same level of, as KFC for me tonight. Okay. Anyway. Mm. I think KFC now got its absolute best for so Hungry Jack's Nuggets. Okay. Like, like KFC would win. Yep. But just because okay. they're so much cheaper... I can see that. Okay. I'm actually going to give it... Oh. Look, I'm not going to lie. I think the KFC Nuggets still beat it out for me. Mm. But just, I'm giving that a 7.8. 7 7.8. 7 <laughs> 7 yep. Yeah. Okay. 7.8 out of 10. Nice. It's very close though. Yeah. Nice. Well, the last question. Mm -hmm. Okay, last question. This one is sent in by Jethro. Jethro. Oh, awesome. Okay. We love you, Jethro. We love You're you, amazing. Jethro. Um, and this last question is, it's funny because we were, we mentioned it just before in the last question. Mm. Why did God give us free will? Mm. Why did he give us free will? Yeah, cool. This is a good question. Um, no, nah, this is a really cool question. Yeah. Uh, like, I know, like, we, like we touched on it before, like yeah. that, like God loves us so much. Yeah. And I think it, I think there's like a really good analogy for it yeah. is that like, you know, like you got like a robot, right? Yep. Robots and movies and stuff. Yep. And like, they are like programmed. Yep. Yeah. Like they do what they do. 
Yeah, you build a robot and you program it mm. to do a specific thing. Even if you ask Siri something, it's like, answer it's, yeah. this, this. Like very. I, I think God wants relationship with us. Yeah. And like you said before, it's not just one-sided. Yeah. It's not just God like wanting, oh, I want some pets. Yeah. I want some pets, you no, know. I just yeah. want some pets to, you know, do something. Yeah. But like, no, God's not like that. He's like, yeah. I want it to be two ways. Yeah. So he gives us free will so that we can freely love him. Yeah. And freely explore him. And also I believe that God's actually got a purpose for all of us. Yeah. And I think that purpose is just so well done when we're just freely doing yeah. it. Yeah. And just like I said before that God is an artist, God is a creative, God is a scientist, yeah. God is, that's all of that that God's made yeah. is also us as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like he, he's given us this freedom to be creative, to live yeah. our lives, to to do incredible things. Like, yeah. And that's what's so awesome about what God's yeah, given us cool. is that he's given us this free will yeah. to go out there and create a better world. Um, and all of you can start right now. Like, yeah, you know, awesome. you don't have to be an adult. Yeah. Like, you've got the free will to go out there and create an amazing world. Yeah. And I think that's just really cool. Yeah, and, you know, I like, like, like I said before, the last question, I think, yeah, God just, like you were saying, mm-hmm. um, God just, it doesn't want to be, God doesn't want his, our love or his love to be a one-way street. He wants to be a two-way street, you know. He wants to give love, but he also wants to receive mm-hmm. love. Mm-hmm. I think that's the same with us, you know. We we don't just want to give love to everyone. Mm. We just want to, we don't just want to love people. We also want to be loved, and I think that's where God comes into it sometimes, mm. or most of the time. Especially in my life, I know that you mm. know when sometimes I feel, oh man, I'm just you know, I'm feeling a little bit down. You know, I'm mm. feeling a little bit down, and one thing that really cheers me up and brings me joy and brings me back out of that you know mm. little oh, old place of oh dang you know that down place is God's love. Mm. You know, putting some worship music on and just being reminded how much he actually loves me. Mm. Um, and yeah, like, I th- why did he give us free will? I think for that reason um, is a genuine relationship, like you were saying. Mm. He wants a genuine like, relationship with us. He doesn't want to just create robots or mm. he doesn't want to create a pet to do a certain mm. thing. He wants to create um, us to then build a future, build his mm. kingdom on earth and to have a relationship with him. Mm. And I think that's why he gave us free will. Mm. Well, that's what I believe anyway. Yeah, awesome. I think it's yeah. great. Yeah. That's really good. Now, before we do the last burger, I just want to quickly say these questions have been so good. They've been so good. And you know, it is so good to have questions. Yeah. It actually helps us grow our faith. And I hope that some of the stuff today has actually yeah. helped you like get excited about God. Yeah. Or even just think really big about yeah. God. I hope this inspired you to think of questions and to think of big ideas because yeah. that's what faith is all about yeah that's what our faith in jesus is all about it's like yeah just and questions isn't like having questions isn't bad at no. all ask questions as many questions good. you want ask as many questions you think you need to ask mm. you know like um, we're always here we want to do if you want like we're happy to do more of these or you yeah. can come talk to us in person or even yeah. just message us on instagram and stuff yeah. at highway kids and stuff like that like, yeah and i want to say you know even though we've answered these questions don't don't think you can. You don't need to ask anyone else now. Mm. I encourage you. Go ask someone else. Yeah. You know, go ask your parents. Mm. Go ask your, your uncle or your auntie, or mm. go ask um, a, 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 an adult that you know you look up to. Sometimes, mm. um, yeah, th- it just doesn't yeah. stop here with us. Yeah, yeah. Because like, like we we've answered them the best we can, but yeah. there are there are definitely smarter people out there in the oh, world. Oh yeah, I've not, been so, saying not saying that like we're not saying that we've given you wrong stuff or anything, yeah. but like like. But, there, is, there are incredibly smart and amazing people out there yeah. who can answer your questions as well. Oh, yeah. And they've um, probably studied more in depth in the Bible. Yeah. And, you know, we're all on a different... And goals. Goals. Absolutely. I want to get to that point where I'm oh, like... Oh, yeah. yeah I, like like you. I would <laughs> love to <laughs> yeah, go. Um, but I also think, you know, it, we're on different journeys to everyone. Mm. No one's on the same exact journey with, mm. with their relationship with God. So we've talked from our experiences. Mm. But, yeah, I really encourage you, Harry Kids, go... Go chat with, go ask these big questions to other other adults that you trust, mm. your parents, you know, any other family member that, mm. just yeah, ask these big questions, have conversations. I think mm. yeah, because we're all in different walks of life with God. And Absolutely, our relationship yeah. with God is always different. Um, yeah. yeah, awesome.
Awesome. So I've, I've really loved these questions. This has been, been so awesome. good. Let's finish with the final cheeseburger. Final cheeseburger. And as we do, I'm just going to remind you to mm. subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes, so subscribe. You don't miss a thing. You don't want to miss a thing because we've got some really cool things coming your way as well. What do we have coming up? Well, I'll quickly just put this. Well, next week we've got a really cool video. Mm. A really cool Sunday video for you guys. Um, we're going to be talking. I'm going to, I'm going to say it. We're, we're talking all about the Bible, yeah. okay? We're going to be talking all about the Bible, but we're going to, um, online here, we're going to we're gonna do it a little different. Mm. Again, I know this one's very different to what <laughs> we've been doing, different. but it's going to be a little different from this. Uh, mm. There won't be food involved. Um, I know, dang, I love my food. Um, um, but yeah, we've got a really cool video coming. Yeah. It's all about the Bible. We're going to talk about and we're gonna be, can we? Can we just say what yeah, it is? Yeah. We're going to be reacting to different things. Like we're yeah. going to find different videos and stuff that we're going to be reacting to about the Bible, which yeah. is going to be really cool. So if you want to hear what we think about different things that we've seen. Yeah. Yeah. So that's coming next week. Um, but this week, we're finishing off the last cheeseburger. Mm. Right. All right. Cheers. Last one. Last one. You know, one thing I noticed about this one straight away, the mustard actually tastes like real mustard. It does. Every other one. I haven't even tasted the mustard. I haven't tasted the mustard. But this one, again, I think the ratios here are all good. Sauce, not too much, just just enough sauce. It's it's saucy, but not too saucy. Meat mm. to bun, beautiful. Meat's really nice. Sesame bun, I do, like I said, mm. I love my sesame bun. But mm. oh, I think this is like going to the top for me. Mm. I would have to agree. I think. Um, it's just really nice. Yeah, it I really, really appreciate nice. it as well. We both got pickles. Yeah, I did get so a pickle. The spread of it is really good. Like. Yeah. You know what? Yep. Yeah. I give it. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm as giving well. it an eight. Yep. Yeah, not the perfect. It's not the perfect cheeseburger. Mm. But out of this lot, it's the best one by far. Yeah. So uh, we've got the leaderboard up right in front of us now. Um, so at the top. Of the burgers, we've got Hungry Jacks. Hungry Jacks. At the top of my list for nuggets, nuggets is Hungry Jacks because of the price. Mm -hmm. It's the price, but then slowly followed closely behind by your winner, KFC. KFC. Yeah. Um, which is pretty good. We all agree. The worst burger. Worst burger is the Red Rooster. Is the Red Rooster well, burger? Uh, yeah. That was terrible. And the worst nugget was yes, Carl's Jr. Yes, yes. But again, you look at the worst Red Rooster. It's, they try to do a chicken cheeseburger. Yeah. It's not a cheeseburger. It's out of their wheel, It's both of them out of their wheelhouse. It's, yeah, out of their wheelhouse. They're just, they're trying to be yeah. more expensive, but yeah, they're um, not too bad. Write down what you think is the best below. Like, mm. what's your favorite? Like, we want to hear what your favorite is. Yeah, what's your favorite? Write down your favorite and we'll see. Um, or, if as well, suggest some things that you'd like us to try in the future. Like, what, yeah. what else could we try? What else could we try? We could do fries and ice cream from each of these places. We could That's do we pizza. Could do. We could do pizza. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big pizza fan, but mm. I'll do pizza. I don't know. I, I don't want to eat too. Like, I'm gonna have to go to the gym like a lot to recover. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm feeling so weird. If I'm being honest, I haven't had fast food for about a week and a half. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Until today. Um, but you know what? Next it's time, you know what we're gonna try next time? What? The salads from all these places. Oh no! Like the mini salad. And like it's like it's been in a fridge for like years. Oh, that would be a. You know what? No. That, that's a that's a good idea, actually. Salads from these places, because these places, again, salads are not their wheelhouse. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah. Uh, once again, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We've got so many incredible so things many good coming things. up. You'll find We're out. so excited. We're loving. Like we just want to keep trying new things. Yeah, we're going to keep trying new things because we really believe in you. Yep. We really believe in this kids ministry, but we also believe that we want to reach people yeah. all over the world. Yep. We want to keep reaching people and hopefully this conversation really helps you Yeah, and hopefully really blesses you. Yeah, and like we said before, we encourage you. Keep asking those big questions, mm. guys. Don't ever stop. Mm. Um, well, that's that's all we have for you mm. uh, this week. Uh, have an awesome week, guys. We love you mm. and we'll see you next time. Bless, guys. Bye.